Look, I'll be frank, I hardly care about the blue rat anymore. His showings as of late feel like if Sega brought a Sonic the Hedgehog, Betty Crocker cake mix and just did whatever the recipe says to make something easy and safe, such as open world Sonic, remaster, better than Sonic 4 but worse than Mania modern classic Sonic game in 3D, another remaster, and yet again, another remaster. I bought Frontiers, reviewed it as a wee little YouTube lad, and said something along the lines of a lot of promise and yet a lot of flaws, and that still rings true to my thoughts as a medium-sized YouTube lad. When Superstars came out, I looked at it intensely, staring at its Steam store page, questioning my own wants and needs. Do I want to play this? Does this look good? Could I make a YouTube video that will surely get plenty of views from this? To that question, I already knew the answer was yes, but eventually, after a heated discussion within my own head, I closed the page and sighed. I did not buy Sonic Superstars. It slightly hurt, to be honest. Sonic the Hedgehog was my first obsession and first sign I was on the spectrum. The Sonic Mega Collection was my most played game ever. I just simply fell in love with the ability to not get past Marble or Chemical Plant Zone in the original games, as well as falling in love with Mean Bean, Spinball, The Works, and Knuckles, a love that was carried into Heroes, and when my grandma bought me Sonic Generations, I fell in love again as an information sponge getting to play the history of the Hedgehog, combining my love of the OG games with Heroes. As a kid, Sonic was my favorite anything. I would remember checking my cable company's free demo channels, hoping and praying that four kids would rear its ugly head. And I would rush to my DVR to make sure every single Sonic X episode would be recorded and cataloged for my own enjoyment on demand. Then, as I grew older, I became a boom defender. Um, not the games, the show. And eventually, I found myself distancing from the Blue Hedgehog. But then, boom, movie. Me and a group of friends jokingly created the largest group of people we could possibly go to watch the movie, and once it was all said and done, we sat around amongst ourselves and thought, what if we did this more? And me and my pal, we created our own mythical Sonic group, a group of friends dedicated to the task of just chilling out and beating every Sonic game. That group was the first time I really came out of my shell and made bonds with more than two people at a time. It's the reason my avatar bears a strong resemblance to a certain large feline. It just made me who I am today, and at the root of it was the blue rat. Some of my first YouTube videos were also about the blue rat. Every step of my journey as a conscious, neurodivergent human being had the little blue rat beside me, for better or for worse. So to sit here, so disinterested in the little scamp as he's running off and doing his own thing, is bittersweet. On one hand, I'm free from hell, and on the other, the symbol of my childhood has lost its vibrance. Now, while it would be poetic to look at this and just associate it with growing up and walking to the sunset, a man aware of his changing wants and needs, I'll keep it a buck with you. I just, I just don't see the soul in this new stuff. And while it would be profitable to sit here and talk about why new Sonic just isn't the same, let me keep it a buck with you. I don't want to do that. Plenty of other people who are more interested in griping can take the reins on that one. What I want to talk about is the soul. Because if you look around the fandom, there's not much that can rival a Sonic fan. Look at Mania. Look at the mods, the art, the animations, the everything. The most impressive Sonic media for the last 10 plus years has never been made by Sega. It's been by the fans. And so, in this moment of sadness, Instead of looking at the less vibrant, light, navy blue rat, I turn around and look behind me at other people in my position. And lo and behold, there's that missing soul. That missing passion. As I see all of these recent and upcoming projects that breathe the same life that made me fall in love with that pesky hedgehog in the first place. Message system. At the tone, please record your message. Hey man, just giving you a call back about that whole uh, Sonic the Hedgehog thing. I think uh, the video ended up a little bit anticlimactically, I will say, but that's kind of the point. 
you know, like I was trying to build something. It's like, oh, it's this and it's just gone. It's gone. It's like, actually, it isn't. That's it. <laughs> Dude, you know, like if you're just like, man, I wish I wish things were better. Just go play a fan game. If you're enjoying what's currently out, more power to you. Happy for you. Envious, even. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to call. Let you know that. Um, call me back. Uh, peace and love. Eyesore signing out. And, uh... Don't forget. You still owe me five bucks. <laughs> <laughs>